taking a digital design and bringing it to life. Johnson College instructor Cole Hastings Goldstein teaches his students the art of technology. So we teach advanced manufacturing, which essentially just means that we're adding high levels of technology to traditional manufacturing. Cole says the trade school program uses 3D printers and robotic arms to future-proof their students. They might be in what we call subtractive manufacturing, which is taking a large piece of material and making it smaller through some kind of machine operation or doing additive manufacturing like 3D printing where they're taking a small amount of material and making it larger and larger. The Johnson College program is just four years old, but in that short amount of time, students have created their own large format 3D printer. It's large enough to make small tables, chairs, things of that nature, um, and pretty much anything you can think of because one of the things that's beautiful about 3D printing is that if you can think it, we can pretty much make it. Johnson College students in the program can apply the skills they learn in the classroom not only to their future careers, but also to their everyday needs. And Cole says understanding how to diagnose their own electrical issues can take them far, from a small parts shop career or to a major manufacturing plant. We're doing a lot of problem solving. Most of us are, are trying to gear the students to, to doing these problem solving. And in the process, they, they just become better at what they do. So we take them in as good and we make them great. For Fox 56 Tech Talk, I'm Sydney Warwick. Tech Talk is brought to you by Johnson College. You can visit Johnson College campus anytime to meet instructors and explore their industry-driven lab spaces. The number 10 trade school in the nation, right here in Scranton, Johnson College.